The mild winter weather across the country has meant early spring bloom, and that's good, but early spring bugs? Yep, insects are trying to take over yards and properties a bit earlier than they typically do. That's why this morning we're bringing in the tool belt diva, Norma Valley. She is an author and television host. Thanks for being with us, Norma. I'm a Norma. I love a Norma when I meet her. I love Norma. That's <laughs> great. Not very common name. Yeah, it is. It's a fun name. And you know what? What you're talking about is something everyone is talking about in Rochester. Uh, not that long ago, uh, there were folks asking, you know what, I'm starting to see bees in my yard. And it was, you Absolutely. know, February, March. I mean, what is there to do? And I know you're here to kind of tell us about this early onset. And is, is the warmer weather the real reason why we're seeing this early onset? Yes, absolutely. Well, more bugs survived the winter, and they're coming out of hibernation earlier. They're breeding earlier, so that's why we're seeing more bugs everywhere. And I'm going to tell you how to keep them at bay. So here's the thing you need to know. First thing, when you're talking about fighting bugs, you need to know the difference, Norma, between repellents and attractants. Uh-oh, okay. So what, you ask yourself, why would I want to attract bugs to my yard? Well, you want to attract bugs away from your patio. Ah. To do that, you want to use certain lures and traps. Now, for creepy crawlers, like those big, ugly cockroaches that we all hate the most, mm -hmm. coffee grounds. Coffee grounds is a scent that they love, so if you put coffee grounds and water in some big old jars away from your patio, they're going to be drawn to that. They're going to crawl in, they're going to drown, they can't come out. So that's a great way to keep those creepy crawlers at bay. Now, for flying insects, you want to do the same thing. Attract them away from your patio. Mm -hmm. Black Flag makes a really great product. You can put them in the ground or hang them from a tree. It's a trap and a lure for flies or for wasps and yellow jackets. And we all know we don't want to get stung by one of those. It's reusable. And what I love about it also is that you can't even see it. It, it blends right into your backyard. My only concern with that would be the birds. Would they try to get in there or...? No, they couldn't get in there. Okay, okay. They couldn't get in there. So and you're it's saying not made with a pesticide. It's, it's actually designed for those particular insects. They're I drawn see. to it. Okay, I like that. So it's not really taking away from the look of your yard, but it's a way to kind of attract them. I know some people use... Um, like big soda bottles filled with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, sugar water or, or yep. something to kind of, but again, it's the idea of just a, d uh, attracting them to something else so they're not on your, exactly. you know, your patio. Exactly. That's when you want to attract them away from your patio. Now, on your patio, you want things that repel, that push the bugs away. And you can do that with citronella products. Mosquitoes hate citronella. So any citronella, candles, incense, lamp oil, citronella is a natural oil that comes from plants that mosquitoes particularly really don't like. But there's other things that you can do. You can plant marigolds in planters and mint and rosemary. Bugs naturally don't like to be oh, around those scents. Really? So those are other great things that you can do to keep the bugs away when we're repelling away. And then of course there's prevention. You want to clean up any standing water. Mosquitoes lay eggs in standing water. You want to cover your food. You want to keep your garbage bins away from your patio, ah. cover tightly. Keep those, those scents that drain draw bugs towards your patio, far away from your patio. I love this because it's a blend of, <clears throat> certainly you would buy some things and then you could do it yourself in another way. And yep. I know that you're a big DIY person. Exactly. Well, all of these, all, everything that I mentioned here are, are projects and methods that anybody can do. And they're effective and they're inexpensive. And you may not have to call that exterminator. I mean, we're all looking to save money these huh. days. So these types of, of products are readily available and inexpensive and very effective. You know, there's something else that's very powerful to do as a preventive measure is you want to spray an insect control inside and outside of your house. I mean, this particular one I like because it has a, a, a concentrate refill. So once you use it, you follow instructions, and then when it's empty, you don't have to buy the whole thing again. You can just buy the refill, fill it in there. It's less expensive. Um, it uses less plastic, so it's, it's green as well in that respect. Interesting stuff. Oh, wow. Norma, yeah. thank you so much. And where can people go for more information? For more information, go to blackflag.com. They have great how-to videos, more um, very compelling information on how to get those bugs away from your good times. Yeah, and how about you? Where can we find you, Norma? 
You can go to my website, normavalley.com, or visit me on Facebook. Awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Wonderful advice as we head outdoors and are starting to see those, like you said, the things that have wings and the things with those creepy crawlies. I just want them away from me. Thanks, Norma. Thank you, Norma.